Hi there, Pisces. My name is Abby. You are on Rogue Pisces Tarot, and I am here to give you your daily Pisces reading. So, whether you're a Pisces yourself, or you have some relation or connection to a Pisces, everybody's welcome, cross-watchers welcome, as long as everyone keeps it respectful in the comments, it is no big deal to me. All right, so remember, as with all general readings, rules can be reversed or vice versa. My general readings are basically everything. <laughs> we just come through, I ask Spirit for the most relevant messages for the Pisces that we'll be watching today. And then we see what comes up. Thank you to everybody who has already subscribed to the channel. Things are growing so fast and so nice. I'm really, really pleased and really excited and I really appreciate you all coming by here. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Um, my daily readings are timeless. So feel free to take a look around and look at a couple of them. Check out the love readings. There's a couple pick a cards also. Okay. Looks really nice so far. I do like to dive deep, so I will be clarifying also. At the heart of this, we have quite a bit of fire in this spread already, Pisces. So you could have some fire energy around you, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or you may also be embodying this kind of energy at this time. I don't take reversals in general readings, so you will see me flipping the cards if they come out reversed. This is nice. Okay. It's at the bottom of the first deck. Ooh, eight of cups. There we go, going on a journey, trying to find your, your ninth cup, your wish, your dream, whatever that is for you, Pisces. Very interesting. Okay. There's a really nice energy in here of transition, of going from one place where you may have felt more limited to feeling more free and sort of more flirtatious with people or with life or with projects. At the center here, we have the Page of Wands, which is fire sign energy. Okay, and it's being clarified by the Four of Materials. So this is Pisces. I like it in a way. I do, I like it. <laughs> this is... Um, you could have a fire sign or an earth sign around you. Um, you could have an offer coming in, a flirtatious offer, something that feels very passionate. It could also be, if it's not a person in particular, a job, an opportunity, some kind of inspiration, um, an idea for something that you want to do to help to create some stability, um, something that's very precious to you because there's this four pentacles energy of holding holding on to it i'm seeing this today as like um sometimes it can be a clinging energy but today i'm seeing it as like uh keeping something that you treasure to yourself and being careful with it um which is really interesting we do have the challenge being the ace of cups and i'm curious some of you might have a lot of trouble or even just general trouble. You know, maybe it's not that deep, but it's like a... Mm-hmm, okay. And we have the King of Wands. This is the Muse of Inspiration in this deck with the Ace of Cups. So it could be coming into a place of leadership that's struggling uh, hard for you. Going out, the King of Wands goes out and gets what they want. All right, they set their sights and they go. And there's all of this potential for emotional fulfillment coming in with this ace, right? Aces are all about potentials rather than promises. 
It could be a fire sign that you are, or a water sign, okay, that you're having some trouble connecting with. Or that is, for some reason, creating a barrier between you and sharing this. This cup, whatever it is. Whatever creative, passionate, emotionally fulfilling project you want to share. This just feels like it's so precious. Like, whatever it is that you are holding on to, whether it's an attitude about a person or um, a goal. It's just a lot of like, no, I want to keep this. I'm going to keep this safe for myself. Which isn't necessarily bad, um, right? But I, I feel like what I'm seeing here is that it has a lot of potential to, to do some good. Okay. On the mind space we have Queen of Wands and Queen of Pentacles. Okay. So fire and earth. The the popping off, exciting, inspiring, sparky creation, right? That magnetic sort of um, energy. And then also the stability, the nurturing, the practicality. Uh, this could be that you have a couple people in your life, right? It can court cards like this can also also eh, sorry <laughs> always represent people. They can. It could also be that these are sort of the two paths that you're looking at. It's like, do I get practical or do I go a little like, do I go rogue here, right? <laughs> like, do I just kind of break off? and do the scary thing that's totally impractical, or do I stay with the thing that I know will pay off? There's a way to blend it, I feel, Pisces. There's a way to blend it. Um, some of you may have to get some sort of, you know, professional um, advice or counsel if it's some sort of business project or idea kind of figure out what's going on there. You could also have, like I said, two people who are on your mind a lot. They could be romantic interests. This could be mother figures. This could be father figures even. No gender in tarot, right? So um, these are just energies. So anyone could be embodying these energies right now. So we have a passionate, sparky, fun, funny, um, kind of lucky, always lands on their feet kind of energy a little impulsive and then we have more of this sort of like planning for the long term taking your pentacles growing them up like seeds into oak trees being very nurturing very nesting um so they could be a little in conflict possibly a little in conflict if you're looking sort of pondering between two paths because it looks like you're going on a journey for that wish, Pisces. Okay. Uh, King of Wands in sort of the anchoring subconscious is fire with the three of materials, which is earth sign energy. So you could have uh, just a general, very passionate energy that's at your disposal that I feel like it's sort of simmering down below and I feel that you on some level Pisces understand that there's a need for collaboration and to bring other people into whatever this precious thing is to get it going three is about expansion and building creative solutions what do we have down here okay we have the double at the bottom of the deck so capricorn energy this can also be talking about self-imposed bondages so you might be struggling at the moment with maybe some limiting beliefs limiting ideas about how far how fast how tall how whatever trying to keep it realistic as well as to keep the dreams alive, right? Hmm. 
For some of you, there's um, some past wounding that is part of what's making this cup so scary to share. You could have had ideas rejected before or passions, things, you know, whether it's in romance or whatever. I feel like there was some kind of rejection that made everything that you consider a little bit more precious. Um, the King of Wands and the Page of Wands and the Queen of Wands being kind of in line here like a family, right? Um, we don't have the night yet, but we'll see what comes up. This could be like a family structure, okay. Um, this could also be talking about needing to really embody this sort of entrepreneurial, risk-taking energy. Now, risk-taking, it's calculated risk-taking. The King of Wands can be somewhat impulsive, same as the Queen and same as the Page. It's because they're so passionate about what they do. But um, it doesn't mean that they're dumb about it. Not by a long shot. Especially because there's so much Earth energy grounding in each of these positions, right? Um, you have King of Wands twice, so a strong possibility of there being a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag, that's around you. Or also just that energy. You could be feeling very much like a page and not understanding that you're a king. Like, oh, I'm just gonna, you know... No one's gonna take this so no one's gonna take this seriously. I'm just a page, right? This idea is just like little level. No one's gonna no one's gonna pay attention, but I don't think you really get I think you're going through this realization that you can also have vital ideas and vital um influence at things that you're good at. We have in your past energy that you're moving out of the Page of Emotions, and the Eight of Swords. Now, it's nice to see this in past energy, Pisces. That's pretty nice. Um, because Eight of Swords is just self. It's like putting yourself in prison. It's prison of the mind. It's being so caught up um, in the who, what, where, when, why, how, and the woulda, coulda, shouldas, and all of that. Um there's a point of page of emotions you could have had like a younger uh it, as far as maturity goes a less mature water sign around you someone that you had to take care of maybe um page of emotions can also be representative of new starts and of our subconscious sort of feeding us little clues and ideas about where we're supposed to go and what we're supposed to do um and you may have felt very bound um, in your mind space while you're sort of researching things. I keep wanting to say, th just throw it against the wall, Pisces. <laughs> just throw it. Just toss it. Just see what sticks. Like, you're going to have to... There's something about the way that her hand is here. It's in the, the wand being tossed. It's like, you know, the page is, is tossing the wand. All like, devil may care. Who gives a shit? And then the queen caught it and is holding the wand while like examining the thing that they have to share that's so exciting to them. The king is sitting down here with it confidently, knowing that they have it. You have more than you realize. I think you're at the heart of it, not, f not feeling as connected to this wand, whatever this passion, inspiration, attraction, whatever it is. Um, not really realizing how how steady it is at the moment but i think you're coming into it which is very nice to see moving into three of wands and four of swords okay so leaving a comfort zone and also some rest and recuperation i see four of swords also as a low-key manifestation card this is when we take the time out to heal ourselves to make our plans for what we're going to do next um Wanting to go on the adventure, wanting to get out there and go for it, waiting for those ships to come in. Just see what sticks, Pisces. Like, respect your energy, respect your needs, 
have good boundaries, right? Don't overextend yourself. Understand when to dip and when to stay in, you know? Like, I had to dip for a couple days because just family things, all kinds of stuff happened that it was just like YouTube was the last thing on my mind. Um, but you just have to just respect it when those things happen, right? Don't feel shame. Don't feel overburdened. Don't feel whatever. Take, take your step back and do what you need to do to set yourself up so that when you come back in you're ready to kind of set sail on these things this looks really nice you could also have there's so much fire in this um and this is nice too because it's going from the eight of just total imprisonment to like i think that you're maybe now shifting your thoughts if you thought before that you were what you were doing with self-reflection, what you were doing may have been a negative form of self-reflection, where perhaps you were obsessing, going over all of the stuff that was like, oh, where it all went wrong. Oh, man, if I had only done it back then the way that I should have, if I knew then what I know now, I wouldn't be where I am. I'd be so much farther ahead. And it's just like ridiculous to me. I had to wait. Like, why? Why did I learn this this late? Like, it's it feels like that. This is Four of Swords energy is much more coming into like, all right, I've fought my battles. I've, I've earned some time to just put it down for a little bit and to just kind of like ease in to this, this new thing, this new adventure. Because there is, again, the Eight of Cups, right? This desire to walk away from something, something that's not working for you anymore. It could have to do with... Um, the ways in which you collaborate with people or wanting to collaborate where before you've maybe kept a lot of this to yourself and haven't shared. Um, trying to find the right people to share the things that matter to you with. Some of us, we get into these funny things where like if someone's been with us a long time, we'll have this, these knee-jerk loyalties will keep people around that maybe no longer fit our vibration. And it doesn't mean that you discard people. It doesn't mean that you become cruel and you start cutting them out of your life as if they never mattered to you. It can mean that you just put distance between yourself and them. Some of you might be walking, um, literally walking away from sort of a, a business collaboration or a relationship or a family association, especially if it was in, like some sort of collaborative work. Um, But yeah, it looks like this is your perspective and the perspective is very much still in line with this need to walk off from the stuff that doesn't taste good anymore. It doesn't feel good anymore. It doesn't hit like it used to. It doesn't do what it's, it doesn't fulfill in the same way, right? And maybe your tastes have just matured, you know? What is that thing that said like every seven or eight years or something, all of the, all of the cells in your body are on different timelines? for how they regenerate, right? And I think it's like seven or eight years or something like that. Um, every single cell in your body at that point has regenerated. So it's like they're all brand new, <laughs> which is like pretty amazing when you think about it. So that eight might very well have to be that this new incarnation of you just needs something else. Okay. In your environment, we have the Seven of Pentacles with the Two of Swords. So this is, I think a lot of Pisces who are watching may be kind of struggling between um, trying to rush the results, right? Trying to eat the fruit before it's ripe. Putting a lot of care and... Um, time and attention into raising something up. I think that this has so much more to do with other people. It's, it's hitting me like the perspectives of the people around you because we live in such an instant gratification world, whether this is in a relationship or in something else. Um, we're people around you want to rush it and so then that's kind of putting you maybe Pisces into a place of stalling 
I'm feeling stalling because of not wanting to have to explain yourself to others. You don't have to. You don't have to explain yourself. It's all right. Don't worry about that. Yeah, you don't you don't have to worry about explaining yourself. Um It could very well be that the the attitude around you um is of a lot of other people who stall themselves. Um and it might be starting to feel like you raising something up properly for yourself is going to be met with scrutiny. They're going to examine every little bit of it, right? Every little bit down to the last detail. It's a little daunting. Um, but I don't feel like you need to be too worried about it, Pisces. I really don't. There's a lot of love here that you have to share, whether that's with another person, whether that's with a million people, whether that's with an audience, whether it's with a couple people in an organization. There's a lot there that you can share. We have in hopes and fears, six of wands and the knight of wands. So the whole wands family is here. <laughs> okay, so let's pay a little attention to that. The whole family has congregated. Um, I think that there is a little bit of fear potentially about the energy that you're feeling being somewhat um, impermanent, right? The Knight of Wands has a reputation for being in and out energy, inconsistent energy, always chasing the thing that um, lights them up the fastest. And Six of Wands is often about attention and about um, public recognition about uh, victory, really, getting, you know, being recognized for the things that you do. Some of you may feel a little afraid, almost, of getting recognition publicly or a little shy about it. Um, might even have some guilt or some shame in the idea of it being prideful or bad. Um, and you get to steer the ship as far as how that goes. Check in with yourself and see if it's really bad or if it's just, you know, maybe you're remembering something someone told you when you were a kid about self-esteem or about how you felt about yourself. And that's really what's going on. Um, you know, letting your ego take over isn't necessarily good. But trying to deny all your good feelings because you're afraid of feeling good because it's somehow bad. Like, you know what I mean? Like, that's just really old-fashioned, antiquated way of thinking. Um, real hope is to win. I think that's part of why the Queen of Wands and the Queen of, of Pentacles are sort of in the mind space, because it's like, this feels so good, but it's like, how do I sustain it? How do I sustain it? But you have this Wands energy so steady down here with this collaborative Earth energy. I think... I think you'd be better at it than you think, Pisces. Okay. Now we have in the most likely outcome. Well, this is gorgeous. So we have the Empress, Earth sign energy, more specifically Taurus, with the King of Cups, water sign. Okay. So this is most likely outcome based on the current energies. And this is just fertility, abundance, emotional fulfillment, drinking from your own cup being able to move on to something that is so fulfilling my goodness just being full of ideas full of wonder at all the things that you could possibly make so attractive it's such an attractive energy and i feel like it is for some of you it could be like a water sign or a taurus coming in male, female, or otherwise, all right? It could be more so that you're transmuting, kind of like changing this fire energy, finding a way to ground it and to make it into the cups energy, right? The empress, which is that earth energy, that juicy, long-term, fertile, harvest kind of energy of having what you need and a calm about you. Um, the king of cups loves so deeply but is notoriously tight-lipped about how deeply they love so that protection right trying to find a way to bring this sort of 
lower level um, clinging and protective energy over this ace, right? Over this inspiration, over these wands. And then turn it into a high level, high level, high vibration sort of energy and love and treasuring of it in a different way, right? Having it, owning it, but not being owned by it. Absolutely, this feels really nice, Pisces. Okay, I'm gonna give you some Law of Attraction cards. Spirit, may we please have some cards for the Pisces that are watching today. Okay. Very chatty, all right. So, like anything, take it if it's for you if not just leave it we have trust the process so everything always works out something better is on the horizon having total confidence in the universe it's not so much that everything always works out pisces but i'm being led to say to you that rejection is god's protection <laughs> i don't know if any of you have heard that before sometimes the things we really really want don't work out because there's something better right so trust it. Just trust it. We have the future you now. You're already that person. You're deserving. You've arrived. Um, bucket list and achieving your dreams. I'm seeing like checklists. Some of you might want to, you know, employ some checklists, do some things, maybe set some deadlines for yourself to do something, to take a leap, to jump something. You know what I mean? Like if it's a launch of like a website or a creative project, or if it's like to ask someone on a Zoom date or a real in-person date, depending on where you are and what's going on, um, you might want to set a little timeline for yourself and just be like, yeah, it's me now. I have this to give now. Why not? Right? We have inspired thoughts. So alignment bringing the ideas, yes, incredible ideas, new thoughts, new decisions, new immediate action, new, 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 bing, right? This feels like this page, right? Getting more in line, how we have queen, page, knight, right? Beautiful energy, past programming, check it all right choosing your beliefs recognizing false stories your external conditioning make decisions that support your goal right try to figure out this is speaking to me very hard of like self-sabotaging um and ways sometimes that we don't even really know that we're doing it we don't realize that the reason that we do something every time is because you know we have a an attitude of lack we have an attitude of not deserving we have an attitude somewhere in there that was planted in us um, that we're not supposed to feel or think a certain way that we don't deserve a certain outcome try to like try to just examine those things in an objective way quietly with some love and compassion for yourself the same way that you would for others okay and then we have loving all of you love and accept your inner darkness for greatest self-love deeply healing and the world mirrors us yeah see that's what some of this back here is it feels like there was this mental exertion going on just just mulling over things mulling over all the energy maybe you just started getting into the law of attraction stuff maybe you just started getting into all that and i'm down with law of attraction with some of it there's some stuff that i really hate when it gets sort of twisted around um because I mean, like, if we start getting into the thought of like every single thing that ever happened to you in your life, when people take it to that thing where they go like, you brought it all on yourself, you did it all to yourself. I'm like, well, that just doesn't make any sense. Because I'm like, I doubt a baby born with, you know, <laughs> leukemia did something, thought something. They weren't vibrating high enough. Get out of here. Or like, oh no, it's their parents' fault for not vibrating high enough or for doing whatever. So silly. Um, that like, there are things that we can influence through our vibrations. And then there's also like this sort of weird, glorious randomness of the universe, um, which can be terrifying and it can be good. So 
maybe you were kind of looking back and examining things in a way that ultimately weren't serving you, right? They got to be too weird. Maybe you started to blame yourself for some of the stuff. You don't know what you don't know when you don't know it. And it's impossible to know something that you don't know, right? You can't know things you don't know. You can't have the knowledge from a book you've never read. You can't know a saying you've never heard, right? So if you didn't know, you didn't know. It's all right, move forward. So these are blunt, but I love them. We have someone you think is lying. They are. You think someone is lying and they are. I think for a lot of you, this is attached to the opinions of others. People may not understand that they are stuck in a scarcity mindset. And so they are saying things to you based off of their own experience and their own programming that may be discouraging you or seeping into your mind space. Um, and it's because they don't know, right? You're on your journey to know. We have you are going through some shit, some tough shit. Everyone has their turn. Welcome to yours. Gather your tired ass up and handle it. I think this is really guidance that you can handle it. You can take care of yourself. Like I said earlier, dip when you have to dip um, and rest when you have to rest, address things when you have to address them. But you can handle it. You do you, okay? Stop trying to change people. That shit never works. If any of you are trying to bring the people in your sphere into a supportive place and trying to almost can like tell them how you need to be um, talked to or anything like that. Just don't bother. Do your own thing, okay? Do it yourself. And then they'll be coming to you, mark my words. Once you start doing these things yourself, your whole vibration is gonna change. And then you're gonna have these people coming to you going like, what did you do? I don't understand. Like. I remember we talked about that project you thought of doing a while ago and it never worked out or oh you talked about dating and I was like well it never works out and everyone on dating apps are gross or oh remember and you figured it out right because you you took action beautiful it's oh uh, it's dark and you can't see a fucking thing get your head out of your ass pronto <laughs> that's kind of this right <sighs> right blindfolded stuck in thoughts um it's a whole lot where are we at for time mm -hmm. okay here i am pretty typical so i'm gonna give you an energy card energy oracle Ooh. can you please have oh Please have a card for the Pisces that are watching. Let's see if I can do this. You can see how small my hands are in relation to these decks. Okay, we have the world. Okay, I just had to grab my book. So, let me see if I can rest this somewhere. All right. So this is the world. It's upright. It says expansion and opening up. The man in this picture is looking out over a bay above which the beautiful sphere of the earth is rotating. This card is reminding you to expand your vision and contemplate some much broader options. The world is wide, so there's a lot out there to consider. In the modern age of technology, this could specifically be referring to creating or expanding to a more global network through the internet or social marketing. Drawing this card also lets you know that you have unlimited resources available to you, and now is the time to think big. As they say, the world is your oyster, so go, so get ready to gobble it up. And it also has an, oh, sorry. Um, it also has an affirmation. It says, my life expands into boundless horizons with unlimited powerful energy. A world of possibilities is open to me now. Very nice, Pisces. Okay, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got something out of it, some reflection, some reassurance, 
guidance, entertainment, company, whatever you're here for, you're welcome. And I'm happy that you came across the channel and decided to click on the video and watch. Please like it if you have not already. It really helps it circulate. Subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you. And uh, if this wasn't your reading or if you just want more messages, go ahead, go back and check out the other timeless readings that are up, okay? Uh, because they they could be for you depending no matter the date time whenever you find them they could very well be for you so uh, feel free to check those out as well all right love and light everybody take care of yourself i'll see you again soon bye now